and uh, I'll call the meeting of the development permit panel to order. Um, on the panel today, we have Cecilia Asham, our GM of Community Safety, and Milton Chan, our Director of Engineering. And uh, I'm Joe Ursig, the GM of Planning. Um, so we have two developments on the agenda. Um, we, the purpose of the panel is to review the developments and obtain public input, staff input and applicant input. Um, we will deliberate on each of the applications and make a recommendation to council whether to approve or otherwise the project. Um, so the first item on the formal item on the agenda is the minutes of a meeting of June the 28th. Are there any additions, deletions, anything? None. So none. We'll consider them adopted. So uh, that brings us to the first application. It's a development variance permit. Um, the applicant is J Jatinda Johol, and the uh, property location is uh, 7600 Ash Street. And the purpose of this development variance permit is to reduce a, I think it's a side yard setback for an existing garage from 2.4 to 1.5 metres. So Jatinda, Rick. I can see your name there. There you go. Um, I understand you're going to present the application to the panel. Is that correct? Okay. I can't hear you. Now, that could just be me. Can you hear you? No, we can't hear you, so we've got a bit of a technical glitch here. Okay, you're showing as muted now. I'm and now. There we go. Yeah, you're good. Yes, I'll be the one presenting. Okay, great. Whenever you're ready, go ahead. And okay. name and address for the record. Sure. Mm -hmm. Just one sec. I'll just get my... All right, uh, my name is Jatinder Johal, I live at 7600 Ash Street. I'm the authorized agent of the owners of 76 Ash Street and also they're my parents. Um, as mentioned earlier, the purpose of this variance request is to reduce the minimum south side yard setback for an accessory building that has a wall length greater than six meters from 2.4 meters to 1.5 to permit the retention of an existing detached garage at 7600 Ash Street. Um, the owners of 7600 Ash Street, along with the owners of 7620 Ash Street, have submitted an application to rezone and subdivide the two half-acre lots into five lots with approximately, with the, so, sorry, with two lots approximately 9,000 square feet um, in size facing the west on Ash Street, and then three lots facing east on Armstrong Street, as shown on the uh, slide above here. The property line to the south of the subject building will not change upon completion of the proposed subdivision. If the variance is granted, layout of the two homes and the subject building will, will remain where they are currently situated and the applicants have agreed to planting two additional trees when the existing house on 7600 Ash Street is replaced. On this slide, you could also see that the setback requirements of 1.7 and 1.5 there on that south uh, property line. Um, the property owners of 7620 Ash Street, who are the ones impacted by this variance, have signed a letter, as you can see on the slide above, indicating that they have no objection to the variance application and are in full support. Um, the last slide here I have are just two pictures of the garage showing that it is in pretty good shape. Um, and that ends. So Jatender is the, the blank wall, the one with the variants? Sorry. That... The blank wall, it is not the one with the variance, um, Joe. Let me just share my screen again. Uh, 
the one with the variance would be on the the left side here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's the real wall. Yeah. That's right. Okay. And uh, like you said, it's an existing garage. How long has it been there? I believe it's been there shortly or just at the same time the house was built. And I believe the house was built in the 70s. Okay. It's not a bit early. So it's been there for a while. Yeah. Okay. Anything else, Dad? I have nothing further to add. Okay. Thanks. May, Thanks may for I the just ask a quick question? Yeah. The wall that is facing the fence also doesn't have any windows, presumably? It does not have any windows. Thank you. Not a problem. Okay. Uh, Mr. Craig, do you have comments? Uh, just a couple comments, Mr. Chair. Uh, this variance was noted at the time of rezoning, and there were no concerns expressed during the public hearing process. Uh, as part of the rezoning, there will be a servicing agreement required for frontage improvements along Ash Street, as, all, as well as the extension of the uh, Armstrong Avenue to the east. Um, happy to answer any questions. Okay, but it, it sounds like there's nothing new here. This was all identified through rezoning. Expect that is that is correct. Okay, any questions? I don't see any. Um, are there any members of the public that would like to speak to this application? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, there's no one in chambers to delegate on this item, Mr. Chair. Okay, great. Thanks very much. Any anything written uh, on this one? No. None, Mr. Chair. All right. Well, it seems pretty straightforward to me. Um, I'm, I'm happy to support it if, if someone would like to move it. Move. Second. Move. Seconded. Okay. Any comments? You want to go straight to a vote? Okay. I'll call the question. All those in favour? Opposed? It's carried. Thanks very much for your application. Thank you. Okay, so that brings us to the uh, next application. Um, it's a development permit, 23-011608. Property location is 8220 Gilbert Road. And uh, this is a development permit to allow for the construction of, um, well, I guess two front to back duplexes, so four units in total. So, uh, Mr. Chang, are you the applicant on this one? Yeah, on mute, Matthew. I'm not the applicant, but I'm going to do the presentation today. Oh, okay. Have you got proper authorization to do that? Uh, the owner is in the same room too, uh, Mr. Bowell. I'm just teasing you. Yes, he has a hot decision. Yes, he does. Okay. That's good. I'm pleased. Okay. Okay, are you going to share screen with us too, Matthew? Yes. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. yes. Yeah. Great. Okay, good afternoon. My name is Matthew Chang, 670 Evans Avenue, Vancouver. The developer of this project is Rick Bowall. Architect is Matthew Chang Architect Incorporated. And landscape architect is PMG Landscape Architects Limited. This, pro this project is a rezoning and subdivision of 8220 Cuban Road into two duplexes. The property is located along Gilbert Road between Blundell Road and Lucas Road. The lot frontage is about 95 feet and the lot area is about 15,000 square foot, which is wider and larger than, than, than other single family lots in this block. Therefore, it is a good candidate to be subdivided into two duplexes, although it is not designated under the arterial road land use policy. We are proposing to rezone this property from RS1 to RDA, which is arterial road duplex. The subdivided lot will have 47.5 feet frontage and 7,500 square foot in area. 
The FAR is only 0 0.481, which is quite low because RDA only has a maximum floor area of 3,600 square foot. There are front and back units on each subdivided lots. Vehicle can be accessed from by a shared driveway on an easement between two subdivided lots. There's the SRW at the rear property line. The existing grade will not be altered and the north building is designed to be kept away from the SRW. There's only one tree on the property. The tree is dead and will be removed. The garbage and recycle area are located behind the garage of each unit. There are a couple of gar garbage staging area on either side of the entry driveway for garbage pickup on collection days. EV chargers will be provided at all residential parking spaces. There are condensing units for air source heat pump system. They are located in the backyard and on either side of the driveway. They will be screened and an acoustic consultant will be retained to ensure the noise level is within limit. On second floor, there are three bedrooms and two bathrooms for each unit. The Swiss gate along Gilbert Road is composed of single family houses. The proposed buildings are competitive in building mass, height, setback, and architectural character. The main floor of the building is set at minimum 0 0.3 meters above crown of Gilbert Road. The front of the buildings fulfills six meter setback and the residential vertical lot depth envelope. The rear of the building fulfilled 10.7 meter rear yard setback and 60% of the ground floor could extend into the rear yard up to 20% of the lot depth. Each unit will have two side-by-side -side parking spaces. There is one visitor parking for all four units and is located in the Eastman area. There is a fire hydrant at the southwest corner of the property. The distance from the hydrant to the fire truck is less than 45 meters, and the distance from the fire truck to the front doors of all units is less than 45 meters. There is one convertible unit which is located at the rear unit of the north property. The main features of the convertible units are, the accessible bathroom is located on the second floor and conform all convertible bathroom features. The second floor could be accessed by a platform style chairlift, which could carry wheelchairs to the upper level. The side-by-side -side parking could fulfill four meter wide requirement for future accessible parking. According to the Certified Energy Advisor, this building will fulfill step code three, low carbon energy system. The main features are air source heat pump, electrical power the tank, and HRE. The form, the form and character of the north and south building are different, but complement to each other. The entry doors of the rear unit are designed so that it could be seen from the entry driveway. The front and back unit of each building have different color, which gives identity to each unit of the same building. The cladding materials are hardy aspires, sheep lab, hardy siding, and latch stone style of culture stones. This video's architectural presentation, I will pass it to the landscape architect. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Mr. James. Uh, okay, so this is even, okay, yeah, we have landscape drawing here. So, uh, yeah, drawing or is okay for this one? Yes, yes, this one is fine. <clears throat> so, um, for landscape, <clears throat> sorry. Um, along the uh, west side, uh, the Gilbert Road, due to the um, new bus stop at 
uh, the pad ads. So the sidewalk has been uh, the offside sidewalk has been uh, new new proposed next to the uh, the property line. So we are proposing the large landscaping, the buffer in between of the uh, unit's yard and this new sidewalk to ensure uh, the privacy of the yard and also enhance the walking uh, of the experience. So for existing trees, as Matthew mentioned, uh, there's one existing tree to be removed on the site due to its poor condition. Uh, we do have, uh, there are some like existing hatch on the neighbor's property. Uh, those uh, hatch will be uh, retained. And some of uh, the existing hatch on site is proposed to be removed due to the septic concern and also for the better use of this space. Uh, in the middle of this, so in between of these two, uh, these two buildings, uh, the driveway and also this, um, the prono is is permeable paper, um, and also decorative paper is proposed at this entry uh, uh, garbage area and also the patio for each unit. Uh, at the backyard. So the back, uh, which is east side of the unit two and unit four, uh, we have large patio space and uh, we have the terraced, um, terraced garden area, which is uh, a grass, which uh, along the east property line. Uh, the garden wall we proposed in this project is made by the concrete block. So talking about the fencing uh, the, along the street frontage, which is west side of this site is an aluminum picket fence, which is about like 1.1 meter high. And the rest of the, the perimeter fence is uh, 1.8 meters high wood fence. But the lighting, so some, but not uh, the accessible bullet lighting is proposed at some key locations for this site, such as the entry, um, the garbage pad, and also a uh, one board lighting for visitor parking. And uh, there's two board parking for the site access for the unit. Uh, in this project, the planting, we consider uh, the shade tolerance, the harness and the low maintenance. We are proposing uh, two trees for each unit to provide a vertical interest and the shade. So in the unit private space, the intent was to create garden with year-round interest and the seasonal flower. In some locations, evergreen uh, planting are proposed for privacy. So in the uh, space in between of these two buildings next to the driveway, uh, the intention was to soften the building face and ground plan the, uh, the paving by using low maintenance and the most evergreen plants. Uh, the flowering shrub and perennial we are proposing are bee and birds friendly. The trees we are chosen are, um, can handle the uh, high water table area. And also uh, for all the landscape, the, the irrigation will be provided. So that's all for landscape. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, are there any questions of the uh, presenters? There's no question, thank you. No question. Oh, I meant for the panel. <laughs> no, none. No, we're good. Okay, uh, Mr. Craig, your comments? Uh, I would just, uh, one comment, Mr. Chair, there is a servicing agreement associated with the project for the frontage improvements and site servicing along uh, Gilbert Road. Okay, good. And uh, do we have any members of the public uh, that wish to speak? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, there are no members of the public to speak on this item, Mr. Chair. Okay, and nothing written either, right? Nothing, Mr. Chair. Okay, great, thank you. Um, okay, well, there's a positive staff recommendation, if I can have a mover. Move. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I quite like uh, this project. Um, I know some people, it's not their favorite, but I actually think it's a really good use of the land. And uh, this one, um, I appreciate that you've reduced the massing of each building sort of at the um, street corner adjacent to the driveway and and uh, you got a bit of variety in the design so that's good anyway if there's no other comments uh, I'll call the question all those in favor opposed so it's carried thanks for your project and uh, Wayne uh, any other business anything else 
No new business, Mr. Chair. Okay. Then in that case, thank you, and we're adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.